Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. And today we're heading to Normandy for another game of Chain of Command. All right, so this is our annual D-Day game, uh, 2023. We did a poll of the Facebook group. What do they want to see, Chain of Command or Bolt Action? And to my surprise, Bolt Action was the clear winner. 86 votes to like 29. So total blowout. So we're playing Chain of Command. And we're going to be heading inland a little bit. And we're going to be on the British Airborne Landing Area. And we're going to see a British uh, Paratrooper Platoon. Uh, versus some Panzer Grenadiers for control of the crossroads. Before we start the briefing, let's mention our channel sponsors. First being the uh, epic guys over at Kick-Ass Mail Order. So these guys are a mail order um, company, hobby company based in the United States. All your 28 mil stuff that you're going to ever need for playing uh, historical World War II games. And uh, check them out in the description. Tell them we sent you. Also our buddy Chris Reed over at Panacea Prints. Uh, he runs a... Uh, Etsy store called Panacea Prints, and he does uh, resin printing, very high quality stuff, and a lot of stuff you're not going to find anywhere else. So if you're looking for some hard to find uh, minis for 28 mil or any scale really, go see Chris. Check the description. The map we're using for this battle is the Grassy Hill Mat by Geek Villain, one of our all-time favorites. I know I say that about a lot of them, but this is really one of our all-time favorites. Super vibrant, really brings the board to life. If you want to get one of these for yourself, check out the description. As far as game terrain goes, uh, so first of all we got the crossroads, that's going to be the objective. So roads, and we got plenty of hedges as this is uh, Normandy area. So hedges are going to be 2 inch visibility, soft cover. All of the buildings except for the outbuildings are going to be hard cover. These fences here, these are going to be soft cover if you're behind them. Uh, that's really it. Uh, there's no real clumps of trees. Oh, there's a small orchard over here. It's going to be orchard rules. Six inch visibility, 18 if you're in it. And that's pretty much it for terrain. So buildings and hedges are the main features of this board. Let's go ahead and look at the mission. So we're going to be trying something a little different for chain command for us. And that we're going to do a custom mission. Nothing super crazy, but uh, just something different. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. Normally we just play straight out of the book or the supplement, uh, the Blitzkrieg supplement, but we're going to try something different today. So it's going to be two forces attacking at the same time, equal support points. It's going to be 10 support points each. And we're going to be starting in the corners with four patrol markers. We're going to get D3 free, D3 free moves each. And we're both going to place three patrol markers. And the objective is we want to capture the crossroads. So similar to one of the 1940 Blitzkrieg missions, we're going to say that if you get within six inches of the crossroads and you can play two chain of command dice, you call in the cavalry, everyone shows up, drives the enemy off, you win the game. But you are going to be able to spend one of your own chain of command dice to reduce your opponents by three. You know, if it comes to that, that's an option. If you're way behind and they're about to win, um, you can stop trying to accumulate yours to win and bring them down. But it'll probably turn into a firefight um, um, force morale mission as they almost all seem to do in the end, but try to do something a little different. So equal force rating or equal force support and a common objective and a clear way to win if you can pull it off with the two chain of command dice. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it's kind of an experiment for us. So uh, anyway, let's look at the forces. We're getting here with the Germans. This is a late war Panzer Grenadier platoon. The force rating is plus one out of the book. Uh, sadly, the force, the updated force rating chart that I used to read off tiny hordes, I can no longer find. I think the website's down, sadly. So I can't look up the current uh, force ratings based on the COC calculator. Yada, yada, yada. They're plus one. So we have uh, one senior leader. This is a lieutenant, Lieutenant Lankowski. He's got a machine pistol. We also have one Panzer Shrek team. We're going to have three identical Panzer Grenadier squads. Each is going to be two teams, a three-man or a two-man LMG team. One's got three riflemen, one's got two, and there's two Panzer Faust to spread um, through the squad, so one per each team. And first uh, squad here is going to be Sergeant Walt Leach. Commanding 2nd squad is going to be Sergeant Josh Bruder. Commanding 3rd squad is going to be Sergeant Jens Kopke. Alright, so Lankowski and his boys. Um, we'll see how they do. Let's look at the British. Here we have the British Paratrooper Platoon. So these guys are not going to be run as elite. We're going to run them as regular. Um, elites are just too good in this game. They're very situational. Um, 
based on like a very specific mission or campaign. One-off games are not super good. So we're gonna run these guys as regular and they're gonna have a force rating of plus two is what I've deduced. Nor excuse me, normally plus eight, but without being elite, we're gonna say they're a plus two. So in command of the platoon, we're gonna have Lieutenant Barry Hume here with the horn. He's got a SMG. Assisting him is the platoon sergeant Andrew Cox, again with an SMG. And also in the headquarters section, we have one two-inch mortar. We got a Piot team. And we have two paratrooper sections. These are gonna be the same. There's gonna be one three-man Brent team. There's gonna be a team with five riflemen and one Sten. And then there's gonna be a corporal in command with a Sten as well. So the first section is gonna be commanded by Corporal Joe Thornhill. Second section is gonna be commanded by Corporal Fred Stevens. And then the third section is two Bren teams. And then each Bren team has a Sten in it as well. There's also a sniper. Oh, I'm sorry. There's also a sniper in the headquarters section. But this section has a sniper in it, and then this guy can be commanded by Corporal Reese Dignan. So that is the British platoon, and I think we're done with that, so let's go ahead and get started. Andre's arrived. He's going to be the British. So we're starting over there. I started over here. We both got one free move during the patrol phase. And we wound up pretty spread out. Andre's got one way over here. I got one in this uh, restaurant here. Another one in this house. And then my last one's back there. And then Andre's got one in the church. This one, as I mentioned. And then his last one is in the garage or in the shed back there. Now we'll pick our support points and do the plans. Yeah, so we'll start off with the German plan. So I have 10 points. I'm going to bring a Stu 42. So a howitzer tank. Uh, he's only got the Piat unless he brings like an AT gun, six pounder or something. We'll see. But Piat's decent. It's got a seven H, uh, eight AP. So it's not horrible in this game. It's got a decent range too. Um, so my Stu 42 is going to deploy on the road and I got a really good um, from this building I can cover that if I need to and I can even go out and up uh, from this one I can deploy another squad either in here with good fields of fire out of the windows pretty much covering the crossroads and all this area or I can deploy out here and move up and be ready to charge the crossroads when the time comes and then I got another one back there as a reserve um, if I want to try and end around we'll see that's kind of a risky move uh, running a squad out there by itself, but the opportunity might present itself. But basically my plan is occupy these buildings, bring the tank in, dare him to come out, face the MG42 Hell and the uh, Stu42, and hopefully I can get out there fast with the, uh, or first, with that um, pre-game barrage. And that's my plan. Alright, the British plan. So uh, we are going into this. We are outgunned, out-armored, and uh, just severely disadvantaged with these uh, two lists. Um, Travis has just got a lot more firepower with those machine gun teams. The good news is there's tons of cover. The bad news is he's got um, Panzer Shreks and Panzerfaust. To the extent where it's, I don't see the point in bringing armor. Um, armor can claim the objective though, so it, I think, is really going to come down to, can I keep him from getting his dice and having a uh, large uh, armored vehicle sitting on the crossroads? The good news is I've got this uh, jump-off point here and here, which will allow me to put my 17 pounder in one of these two locations which has a good line of sight out here um, I can probably well I don't think I can see both buildings unless uh, well I guess if I came up into this area with it I might be able to 
catch both buildings. The bad news is I can't bring in an entrenchment for it, so it's just kind of sitting out there on its own. But all it has to do is take out a tank when it moves up, and we'll we'll see how that works. So, um, yeah, I've got my anti-tank device. I've got a, a second Piot team just to, uh, in case one isn't enough. And then uh, for the last two points, I brought the uh, pregame barrage. And I'm going to try and pressure Travis into having to deploy things um, to protect his jump off points. So um, it's not going to be j totally just to sit back and collect your two dice and rush for the center. Um, we're going to actually have to deploy some stuff. I'm going to force that. And uh, I don't know, kind of looking forward to this. Should be a pretty good one. Um, I'm just a little nervous about being this outgunned up front, but uh, we'll see what happens. Those are the plans, and we rolled Force Morale. Andre's a 10, he got the plus 2 for the Elites. The only really thing that carried over from Elites for him, and then I'm at a 9. So you're for higher Force Morale, Andre will go first. With not a 5 in sight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Oh, and by the way, Andre, one extra phase, that's it. Okay. And if you roll a double 6 on the next one, you get one chain of command point. Okay. okay, that'll be how we do it. So just sounds good. Just stop yeah. screwing around. Just say one phase, <laughs> one yeah. extra phase. All right. So Works one two. I'm sorry. One two four four. One. Wait. What do you have? Two four is one up. three four four six. Okay. So the um, Joe Thornhill section came in over here on the far flank by the rat bastard. Went on Overwatch. Tried to bring the two-inch mortar in off of this one and failed. And he's got a pair of fours, not bringing any senior leaders in, so it's the German phase. No fives. <laughs> two. That, that looks. Oh no, I got oh two, three, four, four. Almost identical to yours, except you got a one, right? <laughs> the two, yeah. Okay. So I uh, first up, I brought Walt Leach's squad in. Um, made it through the barrage. He's deployed inside the restaurant here. Pepe's, and we are going to fire at Thornhill's section. So we're within 18, and so I'm needing fours with 20 shots. He is on Overwatch though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hits. So just a little above average, and then you can split them up all in soft cover. Right, so we'll split them up. Yellow will be the rifles. Wow, well, that's pretty good though, Andre. <laughs> Look at all those ones and twos and threes. Damn. Yeah. Eleven. You only got two dead. Check your leader. See if it's Thornhill. It is Thornhill. He's knocked out. So one rifleman's killed. Oh no, it isn't Thornhill. He oh, he's didn't come in. <laughs> <laughs> Thornhill didn't come in. All right, so we'll take one of these riflemen out. Thorn, who will be knocked unconscious, so bad thing happens. Probably nothing. Okay. And then you can return fire. So we're returning fire with eight shots, needing fours. Come on, Pepe's hard cover. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'll put uh, three on the top. Floor, two on the bottom floor, so a point of shock on the top floor, and that'll do it. So I still got some dice left. I brought in Bruder, Josh Bruder section came in, made it through the barrage. They've occupied this house, went on Overwatch with good field of fire onto the crossroads, and it's a British phase. Whoa. Three, 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 four, one. Oh my. So he could uh, try to bring everything in except for, well, he's got a bunch of ones. A Piat, two snipers, a <laughs> two-inch mortar. So ones are going to be the premium for Andre on this. Well, we are going to say that the sniper that is with Dignan section can deploy when Dignan section deploys, but after that he's regular sniper rules. First, uh, well, at first he tried to bring the, the two-inch mortar in again and failed. So then that didn't happen. tried to bring in a 17-pounder and failed. Yeah. The 17 pounder turns out was not dro air dropped in. So we're switching it to a six pounder and we're going to give Andre a medic. 
but he's deployed off of this. So we'll say he's behind the fence just because of the base. Since it's a six pounder, we'll say it's a lot smaller than a 70 pounder. So he's technically behind the light cover. And he is going to fire 4HE at uh, Leech's boys. Three, Three hits. hits. Okay, two on the top floor. That's a point of shock. And one on the bottom floor, nothing. So top floor took another shock, so they're at two. And he is out of line of sight of the guys in this building. And so that was a three. So he still got two threes and a one left. Right, so Andre again tried to two inch mortar, couldn't make it. He did bring the medic in over here on the four. And he was able to get Thornhill um, patched up and he's back up. And he brought in Reese Dignan's section and the Bren section in the church. So they're all in the back of the church there, kind of facing over towards my jump off point over there. And then he brought the sniper in, Digden sniper, and he's gonna fire over here at Fred Stevens or uh, Rooters, needing a three plus. It's a hit. Okay. So now I have to roll a save. I think it ignores cover, so he's just sniping through the window. Uh, so it's a point of shock. And I will, on a six. What do you get the... Hmm? Oh. Yeah. Uh, so on a six, I'm on overwatch. So if I get a six, I can see uh -huh. the sniper. And I can fire on him. Oh, he sees. we see the sniper in the bell tower. So since I have nothing else to shoot at on my overwatch, I will fire everything at the sniper in the bell tower. All right, Bruder's men... Uh, after the close call with the sniper, they saw the muzzle flash in the bell tower. And they're going to light his ass up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Eight hits, Andre. Uh, are you out of ammo yet? Uh, hard cover. <laughs> Just a point, man, you've been rolling on fire Seriously. with these saves. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> just on point. fire that should have been I don't uh, even know if they can take shock snipers I don't think they do I'll have to double check it but I doubt they would there's one guy it's like oh he's pinned <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they could take shock okay but we do know where he is though um, and I think that's it for Andre so it's German phase there are three ones a three and a four. That's the roll Andre needs. Three ones. Yeah. Three and a four. Okay, so I brought uh, the Panzer Shrek team came in on the one, made it through the barrage. So he's probably going to try to rush the objective at the end, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what he... He's got no targets. Andre's got no armor. Um, but next I'm going to have uh, Bruder's section going to again fire at the sniper. Need fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine again. Man. Nine. <laughs> so I can I'm rolling really good on the Pretty uh, sure that means no hits. That's a hit roll and a hit rolling amazing, but Andre's rolling equally amazing. Nine on the, hits. Uh, oh, he's dead. <laughs> I see a lot of sixes in there. So the sniper has been killed. So roll a bad thing for team wiped out. What five. Is a five. Team wiped out on a five is a minus one. So that brings Andre down to nine to match me. And then uh, with the two ones, no, that was the two ones for Bruder. With the three, I'm going to have Leech pull one shock and then everything is going to go back into Thornhill. Leech at Thornhill. Of course. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 hit. I'm rolling That's unbelievably. All. Yes, that all you got. <laughs> so the rifle team. Ouch. <laughs> Three dead. Two shock. All right, the, the Bren team. Oof. That's brutal. Four shock and a dead. So check your leader, Andre. See if it's Thornhill again. He just got up. Of course it is. Why would it, it is, be? It is Thornhill. He's hit again. 
and he takes a wound this time so he's going to be down to one level one i think your medic could heal, could fix that though okay he can do one thing each so he already did his wake him up we activate again he can restore so do a bad thing happens that's probably a minus one i would say junior leader wounded yeah minus one uh so which do you not want to lose a guy out of the rifle team or the bren team um I'll keep my Bren team full strength. Okay, so that will be Thornhill. So Bren team is going to take four shock, and the rifle is going to lose three and take two shock. At the end of my phase, this rifle team's down to the Sten guy and one guy, the wounded Thornhill and the medic. And this Bren team's intact, but they have four shock, they have two. So six shock with, so well, seven guys, we, the medic, I guess, would count as a guy. We don't know that for sure, but. Um, we're saying he does because he's with them, so your phase, Andre. I'll just have to take the 4 HE from the seven, or the 6 pounder again. Nice. 3 3 2 <laughs> 4 4. Alright, so Andre had, with the 4, he had the medic patch patch up uh, Thornhill again. So he's done two things to Thornhill. He woke him up, patched him up, so he's pretty much done with Thornhill. And he was able to get the Bren, most of the Bren team over the hedge except one guy, but the one guy is far enough away from the hedge to not be seen. So the Thornhill section is now out of line of sight. Next up he's going to have the six pounder fire his HE at the building again. Got three hits again. Can I borrow three dice, Andre? Sorry, go sure. <laughs> All right, do a bottom floor, two, point of shock, top floor, oh a dead. Oh no, it's the leader. He's killed. You killed my leader. Sniper shot. Who is that? Leech is down. That's what you get for going over the window <laughs> to see what's going on. <laughs> you got lucky on that one. Uh, and then a point of shock on the guys on the bottom floor. And a bad thing. And a bad thing happens. Leader killed. Are we tied again? Probably minus one, yeah. Minus one. So I'm down to eight. down at eight. Tied at eight. So that's uh, another three. So he still has a two four and a two, two and a four left. I got nothing. All right then, German phase. Nobody need a command point yet. Not yet. Hey, oh! I got one. I got one. I concede. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one, two, four to work with. Okay, so really all I can do, I used a two, activated the leaderless section here. One D6 over to the window. Uh, with one of the teams and we're going to fire a half effect shot at the six pounder um, needing pipes nothing and that leaves me a one which i have nothing to do and a four which i'm not going to bring in lankowski yet so it's andre's phase Hey, chain, two chain of command points. Holy Whoa. crap. Oh, do you <laughs> <Got> concede? <laughs> yeah. All right, then. And then a one and a three. three. So you can try to bring that two two inch mortar in again. Yeah. For the third or fourth time. Third time. Still not making it in. Which leaves him a three to fire another salvo from the six pounder. Oh, here we go. Six pounder again. You got a lucky shot last time. Whoa. Again with three. All right, two on the bottom, guys, again. And then the top floor, point of shock. So we're back up to two on the top. No way to take it off unless I bring Lankowski in over here. And that's it for Andre. So my phase. Hey, double phase. Two, three, four. So I tried uh, with the three to bring in the Stu 42. He's not gonna come in. He didn't get through the barrage. So that leaves me with this one machine gun at the six pounder minus one shot for the two shock. So seven shots, eight and fives. That's two hits, soft cover. Plus, oh no, you're in, uh, you got the gun shield. Doesn't that increase your cover by one, right? So you're gonna be in hard cover. Oh, wow. So two on hard cover? Two. Nothing. And we'll go on to the next phase. I we'll probably should get out of the building. All right, another chain of command point. 
and a one, two, three. So let's try to bring in the Stu 42 again. He's going to come in. And so it'll be Stu 42 and then the section or the squad again. The squad or the, the team in the uh, window there will fire again, needing fives. That's two more, Andre. Hard cover though. Come on, get one of them. Or a shock or something. Okay, a shock. Here's your shock. Take that. All right, the uh, Stu 42 has come in here. And we are going to fire everything at the six pounder. So I'm going to have nine. Everything? Yeah. Nine HE. You're not going to keep something back from nope, our, uh... everything. <laughs> <laughs> I got the big cannon on the front, which is HE9, and then the machine gun. So I'm needing fours here. One, two, three, four. Only four hits with the HE, Andre. So soft cover for those. So two more shock, and then the machine gun from the Stu 42, needing fives. I don't think I got anything. Nothing. Wow. So three shock after all that. You were worried about being left alive. Well, I still am. <laughs> <laughs> I still am. Uh, and that's it. So let's jump right into Andre's face here. Six pounder gets a return fire. Command dice or point. Did you have a double phase, Jim? I already he did. I did my second phase. Two fours and a two. So unless you bring a senior leader in, which you probably should. <laughs> the uh, so he'll bring in a senior leader. It looks like it's going to be Barry Hume, Lieutenant Hume. It's going to come in the church there, and we'll see what uh, how he does it. So Hume six. Yeah, Hume pulled two shock. And he's going to have the six pounder fire at the howitzer. Why is it a six? It's on 2d6. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because it's five that, normally that, that's plus one. That's not quite as bad. <laughs> plus one for the. For I got the a shot. one in six chance. <laughs> a five. Oh, so he missed anyway. Beautiful. Right, uh, so that was a four. That was Hume. Lieutenant Hume on a four. Still got a two and a four left. Get for Andre. So Lieutenant Hume is trying to keep that six pounder in the match here. Actually, uh, I'm not gonna be able to fire my tank. That's okay. I screwed up too. Yeah. I should have tried to bring somebody in. Oh. Uh, so I, I did get two chain of command points though. Oh, I got a red. oh. And I got a two and a four. Andre did not roll a miss. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened because Hume never came in. So, because he forgot to roll in the pregame barrage, and as the dice gods dictate, if you bring in something and go through the whole motion, and then roll after, you always fail. And he did fail to come in, so... But I would have tried to have brought in another senior leader, my another. other senior leader, uh, and but... Uh. They're discombobulated. So I wound up with just a two and a four, which I'm not going to bring my leader in yet. So we're just left with seven shots again at the six-pounder, which is still has three oh. shock on it. No, I took two off. <laughs> you did, but they're magically back. So here we go. Eight fives. Uh, three, four, four, and hard cover. So since they're both in hard cover, oh, well, I can't see the guys in the building, so you can't spread to him. If that's what you're getting at. Hmm. Because. So hard cover. A dead and a shock. Check your leader. It can't be Hume. We know that. It's not. So a dead it's and not. a shock. So they'll lose a guy. And they'll be up to four shock. And that'll be it for me. So what are the chances I don't totally jack this turn up? Very high. One, two, three, four, four. Okay. One of the senior leaders came in. Neither did the mortar. Okay, you got a two left. Can you salvage anything out of this? <laughs> Not really. I mean... You're going to save I, that last section? Um, Keep them in your hip pocket? Or... We'll let Andre think about it. So we're going to have Andre... He was going to fire... I thought that just reduced the number of... Uh, well, it depends on what you're doing. Shots. If you're shooting at a tank, it's minus one for every shock. If you're shooting an HE, it'd be minus one for every two. Just like 
shooting. Ah. So you need a five base, plus he took, uh, he used the three to activate the six pounder, took one shock off, he's gonna fire at the tank. I see a one, so it can't possibly be an eight. So that's a miss. And that leaves him still with a two. And with the two, Andre had Dignan's uh, Bren section exit the church uh, and just went behind the six pounder. Uh, he was gonna go along the wall here, but then the because he's gun really shoot. over there. Yeah, he's on the other side of the fence. Just the base wouldn't allow him to do it. So that would have stopped him from shooting. So we'll go on to the German phase. Double, triple phase. End of turn. And <laughs> a five. Woo. Okay, so the turn ends, which means the barrage goes away, Andre. Right? So yeah. that you can bring your two-inch mortar in now. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, you still got all your senior... Your, yeah, he can come in next when you do it. So I got a three, which means the tank's probably going to light it light that gun up again. With my one command dice that I can use, I'm gonna have the Stu-42 fire again at the, uh, oh, I think you'll be able to spread them now though. Yeah, that was the idea. <laughs> That's the whole reason you went out there? Yes. Okay, so uh, yellows are gonna be the big gun, blues are gonna be the machine gun, fives and fours. So the cannon got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the cannon. And one for the machine gun. First on the cannon. Wow, nothing. Okay. <laughs> and then on the troops, uh, they're gonna be that's four, uh, dead and two shock. Dead and two shock. It's not Dignan. Okay, so nothing on the cannon. So he did that just so he could spread. It's very gamey. <laughs> I gotta do something here. <laughs> I gotta survive like another eight turns. Uh, yeah, and I got another phase. Alright, uh, next phase. Okay, I got a chain of command dice. Really? <laughs> yeah. And one, two, two. So I can do the I can do the same thing. Fire the tank and the guys, I guess. Start off with the Stu 42 again, the same exact thing. I should have moved. I thought about like, if I move up there, then I can get out of line of sight of the guys. It's very gamey at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like splitting hairs here. It's like, oh, it's like I can not see them. Uh, but I'm just going to stay put in fire. So same exact thing. Fives and fours. So only three hits with the gun. And then three hits. Two hits with the machine gun. So five total hits, Andre. Three with the cannon, the HE, two with the machine gun. So what are we doing first? On the gun. Okay, I don't know which one's which there. The uh, machine gun, or the one with two is the blue. The two hits was the machine guns, right? It was, no, two hits was, yeah. So one dead from the machine gun and then a sh point, uh, no, nothing. So one dead with the machine gun on the gun, and then the guy's behind, soft cover, dead in a shock. It's not the leader. So check your leader on the gun. It's not him. So another dead, so dead in a shock on Dignan squad, and then a dead on the gun. All right, well, I kind of blew it there. So I used the three, two and the one to make the three, and then the two, and it wasn't until too late that I realized I brought Kopke in over there, he had a perfect flank shot on Dignan's boys out in the open, but I didn't have enough dice left. So if they're still there, I'll do it, but... Okay, one, four, four. Woohoo! And a chain of command point. Andre, first he brought in the uh, two-inch mortar, came in there by the building, finally, after forever. They were dawdling in the uh, assembly area. And he fired a smoke, tried to land it here. It drifted six inches over. He's firing the gun. Hey! He's got a hit. I hit something finally. So I know I'm seven. I'll have to look and see what a six pounder is. All right, seven on seven. I got four. I got five. Five? Holy shit. Do sixes matter? I don't think so. 
So you hit one net hit. So roll a d6. Five. Five. One shock, gun sight damaged, minus one to hit. Back up six inches. No, thank God, <laughs> thank God no. <laughs> gun sight damaged. <laughs> we'll take that. That would have been... That would have sucked ass. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Actually, isn't that like on a two or a three, uh, you back up six inches? I, don't know. I know that's a thing. That's why it's not safe to kind of hang around on the edge of the board like that as a tank. So no... Uh, just no a shock. shock or nothing for the sixes versus fives? No, I think you're thinking of fisticuffs. Then it's shock and not kill. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was Lieutenant Hume. So he's got one command left because he took one shock off. Get back in the church. Back in the church, but they're three shock. So... <laughs> they don't move. Oh, perfect. Nice, guys. Nice. So that's it for Barry. So what do you got left? Another uh, four. I can bring in another senior leader. Okay, that's it. He's going to leave everything else off the board, and I'm going to go and two fours, another five. I'm slowly working my way up to my second dice. And a three. Two fours and a three. Man, that's shit. Okay, the three, I'm bringing in Kopke's squad over here like I had originally planned. I'm going to leave the tank, just take our chances. My goal here is to reduce the... British Airborne Infantry Squads, since that's pretty much what they have. If I lose my tank, I lose my tank, whatever, but if I can put a hurtin' on the squads, I already put a hurtin' on Thornhill's squad. If I can get a hurt, hurtin' here on Dignan's squad, I'll just leave Stevens, and I need fives. One, two, three, four, four hits. Look out. All right, so you got two, Two sections there, or yeah. two, two teams. So two teams. team one, dead and a shock. Team two, a dead. So a dead each and a shock on one. It's not the leader. Okay, well, we're starting to dwindle them down a little bit, <laughs> slowly. Okay, and lastly with the four, I brought Lankowski in. He pulled the two shock off of Leech's squad. Leech is dead. Um, so we're going to have eight shots now at all that stuff over there. Uh, needing fives again. One, two, three. Three hits. Am I splitting them? Yep. Yeah, because I can see both both from here. Okay. So, so how are you splitting them up? Uh, two on the infantry, one on the... Or actually... Uh, two on the gun, one on the uh, infantry. One squad. Uh, so another dead gunner. Check your wow. leader. It might be, if it's a leader, it could possibly be Barry. It's not. So another dead guy in the gun. So he's down to, like, three dudes. Or two dudes and the leader. Two dudes and the leader and the leader. <laughs> <laughs> and the leader. Two leaders. <laughs> two dudes and the leader and the leader. With two shock. Okay, and that will do it for... I believe Was there worked. a shock? Uh, no. Okay. I don't think so. So that's it. So it'll be British face. Okay. I'd say a double phase would do well for Andre, but he hasn't gotten one yet. I've gotten like two or three of them. Uh, three of two. them, I think. No, because I got the end of turn one and then two other ones. I think I've oh. got three, uh, which uh -huh. is a big difference. So I left Andre with two ones, a three, and a four. So a six pounder. Uh, Lieutenant Hume pulled another shock off the six pounder or two shock? Just one or two? Just one. Okay, just one, and then he's or, gonna. Was I at two or three? You were at three. Okay, um, so I pulled two shocks. Okay, and he'll use his last command to fire it, only needing a five. So he got it. So I had a really good roll on my, on my uh, armor last time, but Andre rolled like one better than me. Five out of seven. Five. Yeah. I don't see you doing as well this time. You're right. I got three. I got two. Bounced it. The dice gods like confidence. 
Or sometimes they see it as arrogance and punish you. <laughs> They're very fickle. I think my only <laughs> chance is for uh, them to punish your arrogance. Uh, they're not rewarding my confidence today, that's for sure. Uh, so that was Lieutenant Barry with a four. He's still got two ones and a three. Next up, um, Dignan pulled the shock and he was he rolled the move into the church. And he did make it. There's a door right here. It's the invisible door on the inside. Um, but I'm going to use my chain of command dice. I don't want to do this because I want to play the objective, but I have to uninterrupt and have cocky fire at them. If I don't, they're just going to slip into the church. I'll never see them again. And this is my last chance to really do some damage. So I'm hoping I can get a few more kills here. Needing fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on two teams. So we'll split them up. So the uh, team with one shock. That's a dead and two more shock. The other team is another dead and a shock. So check your leader. So the dead on each. It is Dignan. See what happens to him. He's knocked out, and the medic is way the hell over there. So Dignan is not Dignan's still in there. <laughs> hey, you got the guy that you couldn't even see. <laughs> Lucky shot through the window. Okay, so then you only lose one guy. Remember, you got a Sten in each. So you can take the Sten out. Doesn't matter. They're never going to fire. Okay, so that added two more shock. Did you already put the shock on? Yep. Can you roll the seven? Yep. So that means you can move one inch. I did burn my dice, sadly, but I think it was worth it. Knocked Hume out, killed another guy, and a bunch of shock. But Good we're in hockey. Well, we're in soft cover now. <laughs> no, I can still see these guys in the open. No, they're pinned. Are they? Oh, they are pinned, yeah. So you have only five dudes left with six shock, yeah. So soft cover. So they aren't going anywhere, so yeah. Better, even a better job by Kopke and the boys. And... We'll let Andre finish his uh, phase. So Andre, two inch mortar, stuck the landing this time and blocked the tank. So now the tank and the gun can't see each other. The last one he brought his other sniper in. And I'm assuming you're gonna go for yep. my senior leader? Okay. Need the three. So one. That's not gonna do it. Gets hot. So hot. <laughs> and I think that's it. That's it. So German phase. One, one, two, four. So I can make a three for the tank. Or I could just try to finish off Dignan. Oh no, I got I got Lankowski up there. He can order the guys in the in Pepe's. But I still can't activate the tank and Kopke. Oh darn. I guess it's gonna be Kopke then. Kopke and what's left of Leech's squad. Off with Kopke. Back at big ones, guys. And we're needing fives. They're in soft, so they're in soft cover now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Doesn't really matter. And both squad, both teams are still out there, so four each. But you are pinned, which means you're going to be in soft cover. Shit, maybe, maybe I can break those guys. Maybe? Seven? Eight. Eight. That'd be awesome, because then you'd interpenetrate through the six-pounder. <laughs> and then put a bunch of shock on them. Wait, split them up. Okay, so the guy's inside the building. Half in, half out. So a dead and a shock. And the other guy is too dead. <sighs> wow. So check your, or your leader's already knocked out. Check him to see. It's him. He takes a wound. So he's knocked out and takes a wound. So you got to roll two bad things on it because you never rolled on that last one. Okay, so it takes a wound and minus. takes a wound. So minus one. All right, we'll sort it out. All right, so after that volley from uh, Kaki, Dignan was knocked out. 
he lost another wound. The squad, the section broke. There was one left, one guy left per team with eight shock. So roll a bad thing for section breaks. That's got to be a minus two, which will take him down to a five. Um, so two guys with eight shock. They interpenetrated the gun, which put six more shock on them which took them up to seven so they're one from breaking and yeah not looking good here for the uh british airborne at the moment um so that was a two and a one for me next up cop or uh, lankowski is going to do machine gewehr with that machine gun so it's going to be 11 shots from the one machine gun at the gun all i gotta do is put a shock on them and they're gonna break. One, two, three, four, five hits. Hard cover, so two, two shock. shock. They're gonna break. So two d6 plus six back. Don't we just roll a bad thing? Well, you might if you make it off the table, you can roll a lot of bad things because your well, leader's I only one. need one or well. So roll, uh, yeah, two d6 plus six back. So six plus six, is that gonna get you off the six edge? Six plus five is 11. Yep. Are they off the edge? Well, so the back edge is... The closest guy, I would say. It's kind of hard with the base. Well, uh, the closest guy is <laughs> just at the, uh, on right. the lip, so technically yes. Okay, so they're going to break off the table. I mean, might right. as well. It doesn't matter, but so yeah, it's been got, over for a while. This is the worst bad thing ever. He's got so senior leader routes. A two. That's uh, minus two. <laughs> okay, junior leader routes. That's got to be minus two as well. And then support unit uh, routes. Two minus one. Hey, I made it to zero exactly. So that broke the morale of the British paratroopers, and they're going to run off. We'll come back and wrap it up. Okay, wrap up time. So very one sided. I finally beat Andre. Oh, you've been doing that. Andre's been on a roll for the past few games, but you my dice snuck a couple in there. My the dice past were hot weeks. today. Andre's dice were decent on some saves at the beginning but yeah I just had better position I had a lot of windows overlooking well only one on this side but that building right there was amazing well they only fired they, they took your sniper sniper they killed your sniper <laughs> hey that helped bring your force morale down um, yeah and then having Kopke come in back there and spending my chain of command dice to break and kill um, Dignan's Bren squad section Interpenetrating the six pound, I mean, the whole thing was a shit show for Andre over there. Once I got that crossfire going between there and here, that was it for them. So, yeah, a uh, decent game as far for me at least. Andre was, uh, didn't have a good, I don't think your side was as nearly as good as mine for deployment, even though you were a tiny bit closer to the crossroads than I was. Um, I'm kind of wondering, like, the patrol phase in this one was pretty important. I had that one, I got to go first, which could, which got me, I was able to get up into this building. I don't know if I could have done that without going first. Maybe it was only, and we both only got one free move. The idea was that one side was going to get, you know, once I got, like, three free moves, that could have made a huge, I mean, they would have oh. been all up in here. Yeah. But, but it was very even. That didn't wind up mattering. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a force morale game. Yeah, again, they all turn into that. But I'm, I am glad that I decided to do that end around. I didn't know if I was going to use that one back there. I thought I might, but the opportunity presented itself. Luckily, I was able to do it before. Because Andre was trying to get out of there once he realized what I was going to do. And I was able to yeah, get that squad online and take him, take him down. So, yeah, Thornhill squad, you know, that's the old deploy by yourself against hard cover not a good idea <laughs> but so why was chance. it i couldn't be elite because they're too good <laughs> 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 maybe if you were elite in this game it wouldn't have mattered 
I still would have been crushed, but maybe not as quickly. Yeah, I had yeah I, I had totally like better position on you. you know, back crossfire is what it was. You couldn't well, move. And I mean, even if you didn't wipe me here, um, you had that tank sitting there. All you had to do was just drive it up onto the crossroad, and it it's over. Well, you saw the Piat. Piat never came in. But it wouldn't matter. Well, I didn't have the two chain of command dice. <laughs> well, if you'd have gotten to two, yeah, you could have just driven your tank up, and unless I had a Piat on Overwatch, which wouldn't happen. Right. Um, that would have been hard to do. Piat would have had to been like in this window here, like or in the building, just waiting, and then move and try to set up a shot. So the Piat's a seven, just like the six pounder, against my seven. So it'd have been two sevens against one seven. The tank really didn't do a whole lot. I mean, it did draw the attention of the six pounder away from these guys. Other than be the game winning unit that I had <laughs> to defend against. Yeah, it did draw a lot of your attention. Well, it drew drew all of my attention. I it mean, never moved. It just came on and started blasting. If I if I didn't kill it, it was gonna win the game when you got to two dice. And Andre could have brought the AVRE with the points he had, but you know, we've learned a long time ago when you're facing Panzer Grenadiers with Panzer Shreks and Panzer Faust, it's like. Pfft. Why bother bringing armor? <laughs> there was there was no point. I well, I just uh, yeah, I tried to bring the seventeen pounder, right? Thinking that I might need to deal with a you know I had to deal with your armor vehicle. I've still got a, two Piot teams off. Oh, you bought a second Piot as a? That's why I don't have another two inch mortar. Oh, okay. So but, two Piots, even better. Well, what, and I missed five rolls, six rolls with the two-inch mortar. Yeah. Um, usually I'd have the board would just be covered in smoke. Yeah. But yeah, not wasting all those stopped you from bringing in piots with those ones, too. So. Well, there's no real target for the piots. Not, yeah. Hi. Yeah, so the <laughs> stew was a huge pain in the ass for Andre, uh, even though you did more damage to me than... I couldn't deal with it, and I couldn't keep my gun alive. And once my gun died, then you were just, the, you yeah. Know. No I had to there. keep the gun alive, and to keep the gun alive, I had to sacrifice a unit. It just, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> it was a rough. It was a rough one for the uh, British Airborne. So the Germans have secured the small crossroads in this town. We're going to delay the inevitable for a few more hours until the rest of the some other. Allied division shows up and clears us out, but for now, we won. So it's D-Day 2023 game. The Germans are uh, what do they call that? A a, vic a Fyrick victory because <laughs> we know we're going to get our ass kicked <laughs> in the long run. But for now, for today, in this like half an hour of real time D-Day action, we won. So thanks to Andre for coming over. All the guys on the uh, live stream as well. Thanks for stopping by. Check out our channel sponsors. Check out our uh, face, our tabletop CP, um, social media stuff, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Check out the Patreon if you want to help the channel out. You know, help us, you know, help us out here on the uh, channel. And yeah, so let us know what you guys think, and we'll see you next time.